Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to schedule and host a Zoom meeting. Now, the first thing I wanna say is that there are two different ways you can schedule a meeting. One is on the website itself, zoom.us, and the second is gonna be in the actual app itself. And I encourage you guys to download the app because you know it is a bit easier to use Zoom when you do have the app. So the first thing you need to do is actually go to Zoom and sign up for an account. And after that, you can access your account from the web, but you will want to download the Zoom app as well. So the first way I'm gonna show you guys how to do it is through the website itself. So I'm here in my Zoom dashboard and you're gonna come here to your meetings and this is gonna be where you can actually schedule a meeting. So I'm gonna come here to schedule a meeting and I'm gonna click on that. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna select the topic, AKA the title of your meeting. So let's say I wanna call it YouTube consultation. After that, you guys can add a description if you want, just to give the person you're inviting some more information about what they'll be talking about. So for this one, let's say 60 minute call discussing how to grow a YouTube channel. After that, it's gonna have us select the time for when this meeting is going to occur. So I'll click here, I'll select a date. Let's say I wanna do it August 22. It'll have me select the time, so 3 p.m. we'll say that. And then it's gonna have me select the duration. So this is gonna be a one hour call, so I'll put one hour right here. Of course, depending on how long your call is, you guys can select whatever here. And they do it by 0, 15, 30, and 40 minute blocks. Here you're going to select the time zone. So this is very important. I will say that whatever time zone you select, if it is different than the person you're inviting, they'll actually get the time that's correct for their specific time zone. So yeah, they've sort of thought this through. Just put the time zone that you are currently in and they're scheduling for it. If this is a recurring meeting, you guys will click on this recurring meeting. It's gonna ask you the recurrence. So is this daily, weekly, monthly, or no fixed time? Let's say we want to do a weekly call we'll say repeat every one week okay and then it's going to occur on let's say Monday and then it's also going to have a select the end date so it's going to end by this date if you guys want to change that or you can say after X occurrences so after X calls we can say 10 calls right so in this case it's going to be a recurring weekly meeting on Mondays at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and there are going to be a total of 10 calls here you can select if you want registration to be required so of course go through this and see if it makes sense for this type of meeting that you're scheduling. For this one, I'm gonna say no. If you guys have any templates for the call, you guys can select that right here, but I'm gonna leave that unselected. You can choose whether or not to have a passcode. I do recommend having a passcode. If you do schedule a call, this will be automatically generated and you can select whether or not you want there to be a waiting room. So if you do have this checked, they won't be able to actually see you or the meeting until you actually let them in. So that's up to you as well. And then also you can require authentication to join, AKA you need to have them actually sign into Zoom, right? So you guys can check this if you want. I'm gonna leave it unchecked. Here you're gonna select the default video and audio settings. When you join, this is gonna say that the host video is automatically turned off. So you'll have to manually turn on your video. Same with the participant. However, if you want your video to automatically by default be on, you guys can select that. If you want the video for your participants to automatically be on, select that too. But usually people are gonna have the set as off and off. And for audio, you're going to select what types of audio you want to be able to work. And for most people, it's just gonna be telephone and computer audio. So just leave that as is. And then if you wanna look at some other options, you guys can click show right here. Here you can allow participants to join anytime. You can mute participants upon entry. You can automatically record the meeting and you can approve or block entry to users from specific regions or countries. You can also add alternative hosts if you want. So that can also be pretty helpful. But let's say we don't want people to be talking. So we're going to mute them upon entry. And we also want to automatically record the meeting. So we're gonna select that. It'll have you select on the computer or in the clouds where the files are stored. So you guys can select whichever one. Some of these options might not be available to all you guys. If you don't have a paid plan, I have paid for a plan with Zoom, it's very well worth it. But I think most of these options should be available to you guys. So after that, I'm gonna click save right here. And here's gonna give me all the information. So you just wanna double check to make sure all the stuff is correct. You have the invite link right here. And you guys can add this to your Google Calendar, to your Outlook Calendar, or to your Yahoo Calendar. And what most of you guys are gonna want to do is you're going to click here, copy invitation. You'll select this, copy meeting invitation. So it's automatically gonna be copied to your clipboard. And then from there on, you can actually email 
whoever you want to invite and they'll be able to see this and join the meeting that way. So all the stuff looks okay. We're gonna come back here to meetings and you guys can see all those calls have been scheduled and should show up right here. When you're ready to actually start the call, you guys can click start right here. All right, so this is gonna be the alternate way to actually schedule these meetings, okay? So you're gonna come here to your app and this is what I recommend doing. You guys will click here, the plus button and here it's gonna have you enter in pretty much the same exact information. It's gonna have you enter in the topic, aka the title. You'll set the date and time. You guys can select whether or not it's a recurring meeting. You can have it generate the ID automatically, which I recommend, or you guys can use your personal meeting ID. You guys can select the passcode, choose whether or not you want to have a waiting room. Here are the options for the video as well as for the audio. So you guys can see like very similar to the web browser. You guys can click on advanced options if you want to select these things, and then you're going to click save right there. From here, I'm gonna be able to click on copy invitation it's going to save it to my clipboard and then I can you know email people manually I can edit this meeting or I can delete it as well so once you're ready to start this meeting you're going to click start and this is going to be what your meeting looks like they're going to be able to join and join the waiting room if that is the option you selected and of course you can start your video you can turn it off you can mute your microphone right here and yada yada so overall very easy to schedule and host a meeting using zoom and just to recap there's two ways to do it you can do it on your web browser by signing in or you can also do it on the app itself I hope you guys found this video helpful if you guys did make sure to like and subscribe this whole channel is dedicated to giving you guys free resources and guides and yeah any support that you guys can give we would really really appreciate it. thank you so much for your time and i'll see you in the next video